you could probably think that this place is somewhere further out in north of England, but this is actually inside M25. We're only about 40 minutes from London if you want to drive. Quite nice, isn't it? First I have to wish my uh, fellow countrymen uh, happy Independence Day because it was uh, Finland's Independence Day I think on December 6th. Uh, nearly now 100 years old as a country. Uh, I think it was in 1918 was the uh, official uh, declaration from declaration of independence from uh, Russia. Actually these roads are in much better condition than I thought they were. I was worried that there was going to be quite a bit of leaves piled up in the center. But yeah, I didn't... Not bad that it is middle of December and I can go out riding. The only thing about England is that I miss... I miss the deep winter of Lapland. It is the skiing, cross-country skiing and downhill as well. And of course, snowmobiling that I miss. I think in Scotland you can maybe you can maybe do a bit of snowmobiling, but you've probably got to stay quite high up and I don't I just don't think there is enough snow. But I know what you're probably thinking that snowmobiling is a bit of a redneck activity like uh, off-roading. And that is probably not that fun. No, but let me tell you it is. It is crazy because the snow is about one meter or so deep when you go out into the wilderness. You have uh, the special deep snow snowmobiles where the, the track at the rear is much longer so that it doesn't dig in, so that it floats more on top of the snow. And, uh, oh, okay, this is, yeah, I know where I am. This is, he, he, our Chartwell is over here. This is where Winston Churchill's house is. And he, your castle is further down. I know he was a bricklayer. Well, no, no, he liked to practice bricklaying. This is Winston Churchill during the war as a form of therapy. And you can see the, the brick wall that he has um, he has built inside the chart well. This is nice. People have got the Christmas lights out. Nice little stony houses. I think this is... But when the snow does fall here, people, unless you have a Land Rover, Defender or some Range Rover. They're going to find it pretty difficult to go to the shops. But yes, the snowmobiles is that uh, they have... Uh, I think they still use two-stroke engines in there. Well, clean and clean, what they call cleaner two-strokes. Uh, and a Finnish company called Lynx. I think they're owned by uh, Bomb Bombardier now. Recreational products. And they use the Rotax engine, so about uh, six, six, seven hundred cc's. And even though it may look heavy and uh, cumbersome, when you press down on the throttle, the whole front, the whole front of the snowmobile lifts up, so the stick skis are up in the air, and you practically wheelie the thing. And then you can go out and drive on the, or ride on the frozen legs. And they're reasonably flat legs are when they're frozen and you can go across their, their nice long ones get up to a pretty decent speed of course here yeah, you have to make sure that the lake is private property as well so you can do what you want but uh, yeah you have uh, snowmobile cops out there in the middle of Lapland and they're not they're not really checking for whether or not you're obeying the uh, or whether or not you're behaving badly on the uh, snowmobile tracks in the middle of nowhere they want to make sure that they can check that you're not uh, drinking and riding because that's a pretty big problem a lot of people are drunk while they're on the snowmobiles so imagine getting the toes and the blues the blues and toes not toes and blues behind you on a snowmobile and being pulled over in the middle of Norway in Lapland where the nearest where the nearest person is probably like five kilometers away and you're getting pulled over to get breathalyzed. <laughs> the irony of it. Look at this line of oil that someone has spilt 
all the way down the middle of the road. Yeah, but it's pretty funny um, because you really have to watch it on the on the snow snowmobile, especially when you're on the uh, country tracks, because it's compacted the snow on the track. But right off the track into the uh, into the forest, the snow becomes very loose and powdery. Right, I'm having to concentrate here because of this oil slick in the middle of the road. I mean, it's like someone has taken the Exxon Valdez and dragged it all the way through Kent. So with the edges you have to be careful because it can turn into a bit of a fucking hell. This is, Jesus, oil right in the middle of a corner. So yeah, you have to be careful when you are going near the edges of the snowmobile tracks because the compacted snow disappears. And uh, uh, a number of years ago I was with my uh, father and uh, he decided he would pull up at the side of the track and of course uh, his ski went slightly too far off the track and then the snow disappeared and then he and the snowmobile fall into this deep snow and, and it's like when a bike falls over I mean to pick it up I mean it is heavy and don't forget here you're trying to lift up something that's a couple of hundred kilograms on, on deep snow so each time you think that you're gonna get it up the weight goes on your feet then you go down into the snow as well but yeah, eventually you get it up, you gotta maybe get it slightly upright and jump onto it sideways and then use the use the power of the snowmobile to try and get it back up again. Oh hey look at this, they've taken the Christmas tree home. Yeah, most people in Well if you live further out in the countryside in Finland you don't don't go to a shop and buy a Christmas tree. Go out into the forest, cut it down, put it in your car, and then you let it, because it's frozen, remember? I mean, it's minus degrees, so the whole tree is frozen. And when you take it back, it slowly thaws inside your house, and you get the, that wonderful Christmassy pine smell going everywhere throughout, the, throughout your house. None of this... Uh, artificial sprays that give you asthma or something. So, yes, hopefully the weather stays good enough that uh, everyone can have a few more rides before Christmas since it's staying pretty warm. And uh, if I don't put out a video before then, I hope you guys have a good Christmas and New Year. And if you're riding out there, stay safe.